we're going to go ahead and unbox the 1155 processor and we're going to go ahead and show you how to install it too so pretty much we'll just pull this out and if you're going to pick up a Intel processor I highly recommend the Core i7 and get a version that's unlocked so that you could overclock it if you choose to and nothing wrong with really going with the stock heat sink and processor there and cooling fan or stock fan and heat sink uh, it's just that you could overclock you just can't overclock for super long periods of time um, the chip is what's referred to as uh, socket A. Whoops, and I just dropped the uh, chip. It's pretty bad. I wouldn't advise doing that. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. And uh, uh, check it out. It's, uh, it's a fairly nice little compact chip. And let's go ahead and install it. And you can only install this chip in one way because it's keyed. And it only fits in one way. And let's go ahead and push this slot in here. And Basically, this lever just goes underneath and locks the chip in place. So it's really just that simple to install the chip. Um, next thing we need to do is just install the CPU heatsink and fan. And this is actually fairly easy. You just push down and then you turn the. So you just basically just go around each side, push down, and then you turn the hinge so that it locks the processor in place then you just plug in the CPU fan wire that's it five seconds and you're done so really simple but I just want to just show you one more thing here in, in that uh, you should also inspect the bottom of the board to make sure that the uh, heat sink and fan are actually going down in place so turn the board over and just check to make sure that uh, it looks like something like this where where all the all the uh, threads are actually going through so that it you know that the uh, heat sink and fan are properly in place and just won't pop out and this is the way you make sure that it's properly installed 